Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, June 1st, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Public cloud services, of course, remain a preferred option to host various malicious content. And one of the reasons it often goes undetected is that it's not always clear what particular host names or domains are actually provided by the cloud company or what content is user provided. Xavier has a recent example of malicious code hosted on scripts.google.com. Much of a content hosted by users on Google, of course, uses googleusercontent.com and that has also often been used to distribute a malware. Scripts.google.com, a little bit less obvious that the content isn't actually provided by Google, but by users that are depositing their content on that particular site. And we got a new security advisory from SonicWall. SonicWall warns that its SonicWall network security manager, if deployed on premise, is vulnerable to command injection. However, this vulnerability is only exploitable post authentication. So an attacker would first need valid credentials to log in, but any credentials will do and will allow execution of code with full admin privileges or root. SonicWall made a patch available. The unpatched version is 2.2.0, the patched version 2.2.1. And for details, please refer to SonicWall's advisory. And then we got an updated advisory from Hewlett Packard Enterprise regarding a remote code execution vulnerability in their Systems Insight Manager or SIM. The root cause here is a deserialization vulnerability. The advisory itself is not new, but definitely uh, you shouldn't uh, sort of just uh, skip over it because you already saw it. It was originally published uh, mid-December last year, December 16th. Then end of January, it was updated uh, because the vulnerability does not require authentication for exploitation. So that was an important change there. The CVSS score was adjusted to 9.8 accordingly. And now we do have a patch available that appears to be the latest change to this bulletin from late last week. So if you're running a Systems Insight Manager, get ready and patch. And Siemens on Friday released a security bulletin regarding a vulnerability found by security company Clarity. And what Clarity found is a rather severe issue that allows a bypassing of the memory protection in affected Siemens PLCs. Now, this is a little bit an odd vulnerability in particular, if you're not familiar with some of the sort of protections that exist in these programmable logic controllers or PLCs, in that without this vulnerability, similar exploits would have required physical access to these PLCs, but based on being able to bypass the memory protection, these exploits are possible remotely and are also much more difficult if impossible to detect. It essentially comes down to a sandbox bypass. So a code that's typically executed in restricted memory could affect the entire system. And if you are owning an Amazon device, meaning like an Amazon Alexa, Echo or Ring, one of their security cameras or lights, then you got about a week to opt out of Amazon Sidewalk. Amazon Sidewalk will officially be enabled apparently on June 8th. And with that, if you're owning one of these devices, it could be used to share your Wi-Fi network with other Amazon on customers. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.